It is happy hour in Studio B, and today we are serving up some ice-cold local beer. Joining us with more on Back Pew Brewing is founder and brewmaster Bobby Harrell. Welcome to Houston Life. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Well, and cheers. cheers. And we're going to talk about what we're actually drinking in just a moment, but you have a really cool story. So you went to Vanderbilt. I did. In Nashville. You got your PhD in chemical engineering. Yep, I did. And then you started brewing beer with like a home brew kit? Well, absolutely. I mean, you always start small, right? You have to start small, and then you build on it. So it's kind of like a pyramid deal. Um, but what I like to say is it was a hobby that turned into an obsession that ended up being a profession. Um, and, it, and that's how it happened. So I was doing a lot of home brewing in, in Nashville. I got really interested um, in the brewing community. Got to go try it out um, with other uh, professional brewers there. So I had some mentors there. And I've said, hey, I'm, I'm from Houston. I want to, where, where should I start my own, right? And I came back home. It turns out Texans on average drink two and a half times the, the, the national average of beer. You're kidding. Uh, and the population's really high. So I was like, you know where I'm going? I'm going back to H-Town. I had so no I, I mean, I, I knew back beer was it. popular, but I had yeah. no idea it was that popular. It is. Listen, uh, this looks a little messy. What <laughs> happened here? Uh, that's that's what you call a bad day. Um, <laughs> and so that was, uh, so unfortunately, uh, there was some yeast that were stuck at the bottom of a tank. It finally no. finally came out, and I was right there to stop it. So, oh. you know, uh, if you work in the cellar long enough, you all have one of these photos. I just, somebody happened to be standing right there when it happened, and they caught me at the best time. How did that smell? Not so bad, uh, <laughs> okay. a little earthy, you know, it's had a little bit of earth tone to it. Well, listen, I think it is super cool from your home brewing kit uh, to now this business. You started in 2015, yep. partnered up with HEB in 2017, so people can find you at HEB. Absolutely. Let's talk about some of these flavors. We know that HEB is, of course, a sponsor of the Mutton Bustin. Mutton Bustin event, the Crowd rodeo. favorite, one of the most popular things at Rodeo. Absolutely. And you have the flavor called the Mutton Bustin. Yeah, so we did that because when you think about, sometimes with branding, it's just fun to do one-offs. Other times you go, what can we do? And Mutton Bustin is that favorite event. So with this, we wanted to make it Accessible, approachable, easy for anybody to, to try drinking. And this is a coal shedded space, so that means it's going to be bright, refreshing, slightly malt backbone. Then we use fresh strawberries because right now strawberry season in Texas. Strawberry season kind of runs February to April, and I thought, how fun would that be? So it's got a nice light pink hue to it, a little bit of, you get that nice strawberry flavor on the back end, but it's not overbearing, so it's not something you can keep drinking. Well, and the color is so pretty. I'm not sure if you all can see this at home. It does, <laughs> as you mentioned, it just has like a very nuanced color to it. And the strawberry flavor, it is not over overpowering at all. So Courtney, I know you're not a fan of strawberry. I think you would <laughs> like this flavor. I think you would. Uh, for a six pack, it's around nine bucks? Yep, eight ninety nine. dollars Okay, fantastic. Yep. Let's go on to this next one. So this is called the Bronx Stomper. This changes a little bit. So this is this is the other side of beer. So this is a classic West Coast style IPA, which is going to be bigger, mm. more robust, very aromatic. So there will be some citrus notes, but there will also be some very heavy dank notes to it. Um, bigger beer, nine and a half percent, whereas Mutton Bustin was five and a half. But we feel that, you know, people drink across the spectrum, so give a little bit of both. But that's also where it got its name. A Bronx Stomper was a guy who got stomped by Bronx. So we figured it was a nice, you know, kind of comparison. Wow. Okay. And it definitely does have that traditional IPA. It hits you. Very classic. This is very classic. So be prepared. But, you know, we hope, you know, like a Bronx Stomper, it's just a little punch in the mouth from a beer perspective. But that's kind of the fun part. Have a little bit of balance, right? You have your lighter offering, your bigger offering. There's so many different things that there's something to love. I like that, Bobby. It's a little punch in the mouth. Yeah. In the, the good kind the, punch it's, in the it's mouth. It's the right kind, yeah. The, the right actual kind. punch in the mouth is no good. You don't want to be a Bronx Stomper, probably. But this is a really pleasant way to enjoy it. Well, thank you so much, Bobby, for stopping by. And I thank think you. this is a really cool tradition. Yeah, Maybe next year you'll name something else after another rodeo event? Hey, you never know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Know. Okay, we'll find out. If you'd like to pick up either of these beers from Back Pew Brewing, the Mutton Bustin or the Bronx Stomper, just head to your local HEB. And as we mentioned, HEB is the official sponsor of of the crowd favorite mutton busting competition at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. So, bottoms up. Absolutely. Punch in the mouth, Bobby. <laughs>